22nd, 2011, the commanding officer for the Omaha District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers visited Bismarck, North Dakota to inspect flood preparations. Colonel Robert Rook was joined by U.S. Senator Kent Conrad of North Dakota and Bismarck Mayor John Warford. The three toured various Corps levy projects around the cities of Bismarck and Mandan. We have, we've had good materials, we've had good moisture content, I mean, we, are, we are really in good shape right now. Uh, with the time we had to build these and the construction methods used. They, they are solid. Through the winter of 2010-2011, the Missouri River Basin experienced a higher than average snowpack. To complicate matters, the northern reaches of Wyoming, Montana, and North Dakota experienced the wettest May on record, with 10.5 million acre-feet of water inflowing into the Missouri River Basin above Sioux City, Iowa. The previous record was 7.2 million acre-feet. At Garrison, that inflow was 4.4 million, shattering the previous record of 2.8 million in 1978. In response, the Corps began moving water through its system of six main stem dams, including opening Garrison Dam's spillway gates to pass floodwaters for the first time in its history. To combat the rising floodwaters in Bismarck and Mandan, the Corps has awarded nearly $7.8 million in contracts for various flood fighting measures, including 12,440 feet of clay levee, which is approximately 2.4 miles, 1,850 feet of trap bag levee, approximately 0.35 miles, and 33,110 linear feet of Hesco and Clay Levy, approximately 6.3 miles. The Corps remains committed to helping protect critical infrastructure in Bismarck and Mandan and providing technical experience and advice to local, county, state, and federal agencies actively engaged in this flood fight. For more information on how the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is responding to the flood fight in Bismarck, Mandan, and throughout the Missouri River Basin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.